Hey guys, I had some requests to do my mom makeup, which in all honesty is just kind of my makeup. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you what I do like when I go out for a Target run because I hate washing off mascara. And then what I just do like if we are going out or um, I guess that's all I do now. I'm a stay-at-home mom, so I don't really meet clients anymore or... Um, go out to fancy dinners with my husband, but if we go out, I like to look nice. So these are my my routines, and right now I have nothing on my face. I will link my skincare routine video below, and the reason I did that is because I was obsessed with the face scrub from Trader Joe's. So baby is sleeping. She's on the tail end of her nap. I'm a little frazzled trying to get everything done, so let me see if I can get this done before she wakes up. Okay, so first thing I do, I have a ton of headbands. Well, I use this mirror, so I'm going to use this mirror. And so I just have, um, like I said, lotion on my face. And one of my biggest insecurities, which I can't believe I'm saying in here, are my neck <laughs> um, wrinkles. I've had them since I was like 25. I should have gotten Botox done back then, but I didn't. Um, so the first thing I do is I don't use foundation. I use tinted moisturizer. That's all I use. I um, I think like 12 years ago, my husband had a black tie gala that I was we were going to. And we were staying at a really nice resort in D.C. And so I went to their spa and got like professional makeup done. And it looked so awful. And I've tried to like go in makeup counters to try foundations. And it just always looks so horrible on me. So this is all I use with powder. So these are my favorites. No reason to hide in a medium, which by the way, they stopped making this at Philosophy. So they came out with a new product. I went to Ulta recently to um, see what they had or if they had any more of this and they have a new product. I did not buy it because I still have a lot of this, but I might try it soon. Hopefully it's better, but I really love this stuff. Um, this I got from Nordstrom's in the bronzed color. I tried two other things. So what I use for face cream is um, Dr. Hoshka's Revitali Re Re <laughs> Revitalizing Day Cream. There you go. And I actually just bought a new one, and it's cheaper on Amazon. I was getting it from Whole Foods. Um, so I'll link everything I can below. Um, so because I love this so much, they had this bronzing tint and it really doesn't cover and even out your skin, but it makes you look bronze. So if you just want something really light, this is okay, but I really wouldn't get it. This is terrible. This is their tinted day cream. It covers really well, but it's thick and it smells like clay and I just, I think it's just, um... I guess it's just too healthy. <laughs> it smells like clay. So anyways, what I do, I guess I'll use this one. Um, so all I do is, I use my hands. They've been washed. And it really does nice coverage. I don't use concealer. Guys, I don't know much about makeup. This is just what I've been doing for like 10 years. I'll add stuff. I put this under my eyes, sometimes I'll put it here and get all in there and then I have these hairs growing back after baby. So it gives it a good amount of coverage and a nice little sun glow look. For my neck, what I do is because I don't want my neck to look like I bronzed it. So I do some just regular face cream and then a little bit of bronzer. I mix it up and I have this um oh god some of the bronzer got down there this birthmark that my whole life people thought I've had a hickey so that way it gets a little bit of bronzer on my neck but it's not um really really bronze so that's that so while that's soaking in I do my eyebrows so I use brow Wiz by Anastasia Anastasia in the taupe color. I think I've tried another color. So what I do is I brush them up and there's two, <laughs> I trim my eyebrows because they grow really fast. So if they're trim like they are now, I don't use this product, but if they're longer 
and I'll, sometimes I'll let them grow out longer and then they look fuller. Then I'll use the 24 hour brow setter by Benefit. If I have like long hairs, that way they don't go out of place. But when, when I've trimmed my eyebrows like this, it's no big deal. So all I do is I go like this to create kind of definition underneath. I hope you can see this okay. And then I do short lines up. And I try to, so I go up right here, and then I try to follow how the hairs naturally go. And that's pretty much it. So I'll go under. Sometimes I mess up and I just do that. And I try to do short little strokes so it mimics like eyebrow hairs. Wow, this one's getting low. And I always buy extra Anastasia, which I'll show you what I got last time I was at Ulta. I like Ulta. There's one right over the Delaware line. I'm in Pennsylvania, so it's tax free. And then they have this awesome brush. So I just blend it in. Blah, 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 blah. Don't know why I'm saying blah, blah, blah. And that's that. So after that is my last step for my Target run. So this is all I do if I go to Target. So this is um, Airbrush Flawless Finish by Charlotte Tilbury. And this is a number two medium. So to take the shine off from the tinted moisturizer. So I used two different brushes. I had this one, which was from Ulta, like real cheap. And then I recently got this from EcoTools, which I really like. Um, Alexandra Garza, I think her name is. Alex and Michael, and they have their cute little son, Julian, who's like two months older than Landon. Um, so I just love seeing him grow because I know like what's to come. I think other, some people who watch me, they're like the same way, like their uh, baby is like a couple of months younger than Landon. So I really like this eco tool I got recently and I also got um, these cleansing cloths um, for quick daily cleanse and they're awesome uh, from Ulta. So I just use this kind of all over. I do circles, I don't know. And guys, I did not wear makeup probably until I was like 24. My friends in college used to make fun of me because I would put on mascara and lipstick and my hair in a ponytail and go out. A real man killer I was. Man killer, man hunter, I don't know. She's a, she, I don't know. So, um, what's that? So when I, uh, was out of college. I was an accountant for a small um, upstart and then I also waited tables and they wanted me to be a bartender so they had the female uh, manager come up to me and be like, so Laura, have you ever like worn any makeup or anything? So I never wore makeup. So that's really when I started wearing makeup because they're basically saying like, do you want to bartend? Put on makeup and you'll make good tips and we'll make you a bartender. So I did. Um, and then I think I might have, it's, it's like a fear of makeup. It starts with an M, Mascaquilla or something. Like there's so many YouTube moms that I love to watch and it happens on The Bachelorette too. Um, they have these huge fake eyelashes and it looks like a spider's coming at me and I just don't like it. it. It creeps me out for some reason. I think it's like a legit phobia. And like drag shows, I went to a couple drag shows. I lived in Atlanta, it was so much fun, but like their makeup creeps me out. It looks like a clown. Or if even like someone wears like a whole face of foundation and it's like covered, like it looks like a mask and it really creeps me out. Oh wait, I do one more thing for my Target run. I've had this Mary Kay Mineral Cheek Color and Cherry Blossom forever. I really like the color and I just do that and that's it <laughs> and I go to Target 
And I'm happy about that, as long as like I have some coverage. The other thing I like for cheeks is from Benefit. It's a Benetint, so you can put it on your lips and cheek for stain. So that's kind of nice, like on the go if you just want more color. So from here, we will take it further. Um, what do I do next? I do eyeliner. So for eyeliner, I really love a lined wing look. I do have a liquid eyeliner, but I'm not a very big fan of it. Um, I just got some Maybelline. I think it looks like a big marker on people's eyes. So, this is what I do. I have my MAC. It's in Femme Noir, which you can't even read anymore because I've had it for so long and I use it so much. So, it's a very dark charcoal. And then I have a MAC. I, don't, I have no idea what this brush is. Hopefully you can see it. It's like an angled, thin brush. So let me get close. I'll show you what I do. Uh oh, baby has woken up. All right, let's hurry up. Don't you get so frazzled? There's so much to do. Look at my, sorry for my nails. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but look at my hands. My hands have never been this bad before ever. Like, I'm doing a million things. I bang around my knee and my hands. I took a chunk out of my knuckle. Ugh. Oh, okay, can you see? This is what I do. Sometimes I nail it, other times it looks like utter crap, but I just don't care. So I take the first thing and this lifts your eye up and you go like this, doop. Sometimes I go crazy and go further out. So that's what I do. And then I do this along my lash. And kind of connect it. Hopefully you can see that. I take it all the way into the center and that's pretty much my winged eyeliner. I don't do underneath. I have before but why do we always have to do this? Um, I think it closes in the eye. I guess it depends on your eye shape, but with my eye shape, I feel like it closes in the eye. Closes it up. Sorry, it's hard to talk and do this. And then a lot of times I'll get like black underneath, so I just use a Q-tip to clean it up. She is moving around. Okay, next up, all right, eyeliner. I recent, usually I just use like a white out of a palette, but I recently got this Benefit Dandelion Nude Pink Powder Highlighter and Luminizer. So, I just use that brush. And then, on the, what's it called? The, I use my finger. brow bone or something kind of hits that and then sometimes I'll do here and here I've never done it there I just feel like at 42 I shouldn't put too much of that on me okay next real simple I use this this is a Sephora brush. I love this brush. For the crease of my eye, I use the Hula Benefit. It's like a bronzer. I guess it's just called Hula. So I do like this. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Sometimes I blend it in. Sometimes I don't. And then that just gives like depth. The other thing I use is Bare Minerals ID and Warmth. It's kind of the same color almost, but I like this one better. And then sometimes I'll just do that, and then other times I'll take the Modern Romance palette by Anastasia and Primavera has a little bit of a bronzy, glittery. And that's all I do, like very little. And that's my eye. I 
think that's all I do. That's all I do, guys. So next is mascara. If I go out, sometimes I'll do like, um, after speaking, I'm not liking fat, fake eyelashes. I've done this like once a year. So they are individual false lashes from Sephora. So I'll just put like one or two at the end to kind of give it like a va 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 boom. Okay, eyes. So I like, because I don't wear makeup that much, I like to buy the small ones. And Benefit has um, a really good mascara. It's called Their Real. They make your lashes look huge. These, This is really good. It's called Bad Gal Bang by Benefit. But it's hard to get off and wash off. And no. But I guess if I went out, I would use that. Another good one is MAC False Lashes. So I will show you the benefit because baby is up. Okay, so I just do this. That's it. Hello. Va 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 boom. I just love the brush. It helps like so it doesn't clump. And then, like I said, I don't do the bottom. Plus, I think I have really long bottom lashes. So they hit my cheek as well. And it just makes a mess. Oh, no, it's getting clumpy. If you don't do it fast, it can clump. So that's it. Some of my favorite lips. I love this CoverGirl stuff. It's the kind that stays on. I'll put it on the screen because I don't know what it's called. But it stays on all day and then it gives you like a clear thing as well to go over it so it's not dry. I've tried the Huda Beauty, which they're okay. I don't like them as much as this. But they stopped making my favorite. It's like this beautiful berry color. Um, it's number 528. I don't know why they stopped making it. So there's that. There's a pink one. But usually what I do, I like Burt's Bees Lip Gloss. So I'll do a lip gloss usually. Or I'll do a stay all day if we're really going out and do like a lip gloss over it. My lips are really dry. Alright, she's now sitting up in the crib. I think there's anything else. I do have like a lip liner. I don't really, as a mom, I don't really use it, but I think this is it. This is like my going out makeup every day. I mean, not every day, every day to Target was the first four products, um, first four steps, but so that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Baby is awake. I need to head out. I'm glad my makeup is done for the day before noon. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.